Something tells me that if you're seeing this video, then this might be the universe's way of telling you that it's time for you to pack your bags and take a trip. But until then, come with me to Lusanne, Switzerland. All right, this was my last morning in Geneva and I woke up and of course I needed to indulge in the breakfast. I ordered this last night. I placed the sign outside my door and it was delivered promptly around 7 a.m. And of course, it looks like a nice day outside. But let's get into the breakfast though. I'm just in awe of everything that you get with these breakfasts every day. You got your eggs, you could get bacon if you wanted. You've got all the pastries, you've got all the jams, you've got your morning coffee. In addition to the fact that you can also get coffee and espresso with your Nespresso machine that comes in the room. But man, I woke up from a night of debauchery. Not really debauchery. We just simply had pre-dinner drinks, a bottle of champagne, more drinks at dinner, and of course, we had to go to a hookah spot to end off our night. Well, shisha, as they say. It was a great night, but I woke up in desperate need of some coffee, in desperate need of some food, and in desperate need to pack my bags because we would be departing for the train station in just a few short hours. But first, it's vacation and it's time to unwind. Yes, we do have places to go, but I wanted to vacate. I wanted to spend a little time just relaxing and enjoying life's little indulgences. This is what I have been missing. Most days when I am at home here in the States, I'm getting up, rushing out the door for the gym, I'm getting all the things done, and I end the night collapsing in bed. To have the luxury of just being able to sit in the quiet near the window in Geneva and have a nice cup of coffee was perfect. All right, y'all, so we are headed out from Geneva to hit the train for Lusanne. And this is the outfit for the train. I've got my Ludan trench. I've got this black hoodie from Bershka. I got, I forgot where I got this t-shirt from, but it's one of my favorites. Obviously some Zara jeans, Bottega hiking boots, thrifted bondage, uh, cheetah print, ball cap, little bit of arm candy and neck candy. And then the bags are all packed and ready to go. I'm going downstairs to meet Aria to grab a cup of coffee and then we're headed to the train station. Here we are and goodbye Geneva. You have been lovely to me. I cannot wait to come back. Guys, if you are in Geneva, please stay at the Hotel Metropole. It is splendid. Let's go. We are at the train station headed from Geneva to Lusanne. I don't know if you guys can see. We're at platform. Oh, wait. Are we in D? We need to be in C. We need to be in C. But now we're, now we're in the C. If you guys can see it, we made it. Okay, so anyway, our luggage, pray for us. It is a, quite the struggle to travel from city to city with all this luggage, but really there's no other choice. Stay la vie, stay la vie. Once we get on the train, I'll show you guys the train. Alright, so we made it on the train. Look, we're in the first class. And so is our luggage. Well, pretty God, they just let it stay. So, well, we're moving now, so it's always weird to me that they don't check the ticket until the train has left the station. <coughs> we are on the train. You guys can see. Hopefully, we'll see some seaside, like mountains and things, and Swiss Alps, or whatever. All right, y'all. So in truth, we didn't see a lot of Alps. Just gonna go ahead and admit that to you right now on this trip from Geneva to Lusanne. It was really a lot of what you're seeing right now, especially compared to what I know is coming up next in future videos. This right here is a pretty average view, right? But I can tell you that the train ride was delightful. It was quiet, it was relaxing. The seats were extremely comfortable 
and the train was also extremely clean and well kept. They also had a food cart so that you could go back and get food if you liked. We were sitting in what was the first class cabin. Again, there weren't a lot of people there and we also had room enough for our luggage, which was quite nice as well because I was concerned because when I had taken a train years ago from Manchester to Nottingham in the UK, the aisle wasn't big enough for my luggage, so I had to leave my luggage someplace else. I didn't have to do that on this experience. And as you guys can see here, Lusain is our next stop. And I didn't actually capture the circuitous route that we had to take to get out of the train station. So just be aware of that when you are departing the train station in Lusain. And I wanted to give you guys a full view of our hotel. It's a castle, y'all. We're staying in a castle. Look at this view. Now, this ain't no stock image either. This is a view that Aria took with her phone and I fell in love with it. All right, this is Hotel Chateau. This is where we are staying here in Lusane. And when I tell you it's a castle, it is truly a castle. Is it not beautiful? All right, y'all, so we are in Lusane. We took the train and we are staying in a literal castle. You can't see it, but I'm gonna show you the spires for the castle in a minute. But y'all, this hotel is so fabulous. We are sitting here. We can't check in until two. We're sitting at the bar and it is just, look at the bar. Isn't that bar gorgeous? The bar is gorgeous. But when traveling to Lusane, what I can tell you is it's a maybe a 30 minute train ride from Geneva to Lusane. We had a lot, of, a lot of luggage. I think if you sit, if you get like a first class or business class seat on the train, it's probably better if you have like some like big luggage. We were able to kind of sit our luggage in this seat, in the seat area, and then we sat on the opposite side. It was not packed. It was relatively quiet and chill. Then we had a little bit of trouble figuring out how to get out of the train station and find a taxi cab. That took a little bit of exploring. We kind of did a little divide and conquer where Arya stayed with the luggage and I kind of ran around trying to figure out the exit. Once we figured out the exit, we caught a taxi from the train station. It was probably like 45 minutes. So it was, really wasn't long. So that was really, really nice. We checked into the hotel. I swear to you, it is literally a castle. It is right on the water. It is right by the docks. I'm definitely doing some photos out there. And y'all, it's just, I, I have no complaints. This is such a beautiful experience. I can't even wait to see what the rooms are gonna be like. I hope our rooms are overlooking the water. And Lusaina is just beautiful. It just, honestly, it feels like another world here. And I am already madly in love. Right, so we have everything here. You use your key card to access the lights. And then we have our closet space here obviously cute and then obviously the bed the living space cute little desk setup love this lamp got your mirror right here and then you've got your view of the lake that is honestly stunning stunning like, I feel like the camera doesn't really do it justice. But I think because this is a castle and we're on kind of like the top floor, I think we might be in one of the spires, but we got all the things you need, with your television, nice, huge bed. And then this bathroom is kind of cute, right? Here, you actually have an even better view of the lake. I love it. I absolutely love it. You got the mountains over there. It's a little overcast today. Mirror action right here. Mirror action there. You got all of the things that you need. 
all of your toiletries. You have your throne here and towels and you have a nice shower here. I love that the shower is all inside. You can't get the extra wetness on the floor. You also have your floor mat. And let's see, what else? You've got some little gifts right here. Chateau Duché, which is really, really nice. And this is the room tour. Let me know what you guys think of this. Now, I know y'all didn't think we was gonna do all that traveling and not show y'all some food. We had crepes for lunch, y'all. I was not expecting the runny egg, but it was actually kind of good. Then next we stopped at a pastry shop to get pastries and coffee. It was absolutely delightful because once we got outside, it was time to do some exploring around Lusanne. All right, y'all, the beauty of Lusanne, especially with our hotel or rather our chateau or our castle, is that it was right on the water. Literally, you could go outside, turn the corner, and you were right there on the lake. It was spectacular. I love that it was also Sunday, so the shops were closed. So all we honestly had to do was join the crowds and just enjoy the afternoon and the view the mountains are they're just so majestic i think that this is one of the most exciting parts of the trip is just seeing these mountains up close and being right there on the lake and the amount of peace fresh air it just felt like the quality of life just increased and enhanced as we continued on this journey and I think that that's super important, especially if you are on a healing journey or if you're on a journey of self-discovery. I think we both just wanted to take moments to ourselves just to enjoy the beauty that we were seeing. I want you guys to stay tuned because obviously for the next part of this series, I'm gonna give you my daily recap of our trip from Geneva to Lausanne and exactly what you can expect for your trip.